In this video, I'm gonna tell you everything that you need to know when it comes to building a custom home. Stay tuned. What's up everyone, Andrew Lake here with the Lake Team in Houston, Texas. Welcome back to our channel. We have another great video lined up for you guys today. And if you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and smash that subscribe button down below if you haven't already. Uh, we try to produce the best real estate content to put out to you guys each and every single week. And with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and move straight into today's topic, which is anything and everything about building a custom home. So the first things first is you need to find a lot, right? You need to find a lot that's going to fit on the size of the home that you're wanting to build. Um, and this is pretty. This is a pretty important piece of the puzzle, uh, in my opinion, because it, you need to figure out what kind of home you're going to build. How custom is it going to be? How large is it going to be? Um, you know, what could you? What what kind of price range? Uh, if you sold the house, would it be looking at? Are you looking in the million plus range? Um, so whenever you're picking out a lot, you really need to figure out, uh, uh, zone down an area, uh, or narrow down an area, uh, I should say, and you know, kind of look at what the surroundings look like. Are they similar to what maybe your house would look like? Um, are prices kind of com comparable? Are there other new construction houses in the area? Uh, so you need to ask yourself these types of things and don't overpay for the lot. That's a big one too. So you, you don't want to overpay for the lot. And then on top of that, you're going to, you're going to, you know, pay so much to, to actually build this house or uh, this per, pretty lengthy and uh, big project. So you don't want to overpay for the lot. You want to make sure you, you get it, you get it priced, um, or you, you get a good deal on it. Uh, so you don't, cause basically you don't want to be underwater in equity should you ever need to sell the property. Uh, so make sure you find that lot that's in the, an appropriate area for the different, for the type of house that you're trying to build. So the next thing is you need to establish a timeline. So how long is this project in, in your eyes? How long do you think it's going to take? Is it going to take six months? Is it going to take a year? How complex is this, this property or this, uh, this house that you're about to build? Um, so you establish your timeline and, and, and you'll get that, um, you know, figured out as far as like, okay, if you need to make prior arrangements, like, all right, I need to sell my house or I need to list my house. Um, if you have a house to sell, I need to list my house at this time. It's going to take X, it's going to take this amount of time to sell it. Um, and then I'll be moving into the new property once it's finished. So just establish your timeline, figure out how long it's going to take to build this uh, new custom house you're about to do. Next thing is know your budget. Um, you know, it, you need to know your budget as far as obviously you need to know your budget, but you need to know what, how much is it going to take? What kind of, you know, custom features are going to be involved in this house and you schedule, you know, I, I would suggest go ahead and making uh, get on word or something, uh, make a list of all the things you want inside your property and set a, and set a, uh, and set a budget for those items. Like if you want imported chandeliers from, you know, out of the country, um, if you want imported, I don't know, go plated walls, whatever the case is, um, make a budget for that kind of stuff and then figure it out from there and try to stick to that budget because it's going to be imperative moving forward whenever you are going along through the process of building. So the next thing you need to ask yourself is, are you going to build this house on your own? Meaning you're going to sub everything out. We call it build by owner, or are you going to hire a, a building company to do this for you? There's pros and cons to each. If you do this on your own, you're going to save probably about 30 to 40%. I'd say more around the 30% mark. Um, if you're going to do this on your own and subcontract out everything. Um, and the cons for going on your own is if you don't have any experience with building new construction houses, especially a complex custom home, um, you could run into some serious snags. Um, you know, you may not be familiar with the different phases that are involved with building a house. Um, so these kind of things you might want to narrow down. But a quick Google search, nonetheless, will probably get you uh, get you a good starting point on how to build. And I think there are there are consultants out there who will help you build by owner. If you want to go the builder route, just understand you're going to pay a, a premium for it. So just like anything, if you hire a general contractor, you're going to pay 30% on top, uh, which is pretty typical. So uh, just know that you're not going to really have too much of savings. Uh, you're going to hire a builder, and they're going to take over the entire project for you, like a project manager would. And then. Um, so yeah, just understand you're not going to go to the stages, but they do, um, they take all the, the hassle out for you. They take all the worries out for you. You're not having us get things scheduled, get people scheduled. And depending on how complex this project is, it may actually be better to um, hire a contractor out to do it. 
So another thing that you need to ask yourself is, are you going to purchase existing architectural plans or are you gonna hire your own architect to build out to your, to your liking? Um, there's pros and cons to each. I mean, you can get on a simple Google search. Again, well, you can find different floor plans that may be able to match what you're looking for. Um, one of my personal favorites is Pinterest. If you get on Pinterest, you'll be able to find tons and tons of floor plans. Um, and they range anywhere from $1,000 upwards to $5,000 for the, for the plans itself. Um, so just, you can, and, and what's cool about Pinterest, by the way, is you'll be able to see uh, the actual like finished product of a house that somebody did. So somebody took that floor plan and made it realize into fruition, and um, you'll be able to see what the outcome of that floor plan looked like, rather than just looking, you know, at a bunch of boxes and stuff. So uh, you can physically see what it looked like. Um, if you hired an architect, you do get that that personal. Um, that personal, that personal connection with somebody, and they're gonna be able to you know, narrow down exactly what it is that you're looking for, come up with the design. Uh, they may be able to give you some 3D renderings, um, and then you, know, you just kinda, you, know, you make your adjustments from there if you need to, but uh, just know those options are available to you. You can either hire the architect or you can pay for some plans. A good, good starting point would be Pinterest. So if you're anything like my wife and I, we argue 24 seven about different finished products of how a house can look or how a house would look, uh, especially when it comes to fix and flips for ourselves. We argue all the time about tile colors and things like that. Um, so if you do have a spouse that you know you're, or you don't even have a spouse, whatever the case is, you can always hire a designer if you, work, if you are unsure or if you and your spouse are unsure of what kind of, of different finishes you would like in the house or what your end goal would you want it to look like. Um, you could hire a designer. Uh, they are pretty expensive. They range anywhere from five to $10,000, depending on how complex um, or how big a project actually is. Um, they'll be able to give you the, they'll be able to pick out colors for you. They'll be able to pick out all the finished products for you. Um, and they'll give you 3D renderings and they'll be able to basically, you know, show you, hey, this is what the house is gonna look like. And then again, you can make your adjustments from there if you don't like a, a certain item in there. But a uh, designer is a good happy medium, especially for my wife and I, a good happy medium. Uh, that way it takes all the stress work out of, a, out of the whole equation. And we know what the house is gonna look like when it's finished. So another thing you need to ask yourself is what kind of amenity add-ons are you going to do? Are you going to do some of these add-ons um, during the build or after the build, such as pools, basketball courts, um, things of that nature? Uh, how complex you're going to give the pool? You're going to put lazy rivers back there. Well, you know whatever the case is, or you know uh, you're going to do a covered patio, pavilion style stuff. I mean. So those kinds of questions you wanna answer up front, are you gonna do this during the build, try to finance it all as a whole or pay cash for it all as a whole? Or are you gonna finance everything all together? Just, it all depends on whatever it is you're gonna do. But think about, think, think far into the future of what your dream property is gonna look like during this custom build, and it'll help you along the way with uh, project management and timelines. One other thing you knew, we had just touched on very briefly a second ago is financing. Um, are you going to finance this property, or are you going to pay cash? So, or are you going to pay half? You're going to put half down of whatever it's going to cost you to build. Uh, so, th those types of things you need to understand. Um, there's different loan programs out there. Different lenders have different uh, different products to offer. Um, I know jumbo loans. So, you know, they're five percent down if you wanted to go that low, but it is considered a non-qualified mortgage at that point. Um, but you know, if you want to put twenty percent down, then you're qualified. Um, for a qualified mortgage and but I mean different different lenders have different loan programs especially when it comes to building um, and you need to work closely with them whether they're gonna wire funds directly to the builder if you're doing if you're hiring a builder um, or if they're gonna wire funds directly to you or if the whole project is gonna get funded after closing those types of issues or kinks need to be worked out prior uh, to starting any kind of project like this. And so I would highly recommend before, if you've, if you've made the decision to build a custom house, go ahead and reach out to lenders and uh, figure out what different products they have out there that are available um, and how those products actually work when it comes to the construction phase. The very last thing I wanna talk about is exit strategy. Don't get too personable with some of these items that you're gonna be choosing. Um, don't go over, don't go too crazy with it because if you ever needed to sell the property, um, you don't want to take a major loss on this house, right? Custom homes are already, you know, a big thing. And if you're going overboard with all of your finished products and you need to sell one day, you may not get all of that money back. Uh, but again, it all depends on your taste. It all depends on you, on um, what you're looking for in a house or what you're looking for in a new, in a new build like this. Um, 
but always have an exit strategy. And what that looks like, I don't know. You need to put that on pen to paper and figure out what the exit strategy is. If you ever got in a bind one day, you needed to you needed to cash out for whatever reason. You got a, you're relocating for a job that you didn't expect to ever happen. Uh, those types of things you need to plan for. That way there's no surprises along the way. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. It's going to pretty much wrap it up for today. Let me know what you think in the comment section below or if you have any other topics that you'd like me to cover or if I missed something that you'd like me to answer a question about or maybe remake this video. I don't know. Leave it in the comment section below and I'll be happy to, uh, uh, to oblige and, and make it, make it more, more topics, basically. Um, so if you have any further questions, visit us on our website and from there you can reach out to us directly. If you're watching this on YouTube, I'll leave the info in the description of the video. Don't forget to hit that uh, subscribe button down below and so that way you'll be the first to be notified whenever we uh, release new videos which we do each and every single week um, but that being said that's going to wrap it up for today i'm andrew with the lake team here in houston texas and i'll see you guys next week